Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are here in Arpora, which is this famous road which has the night market, it has the go-karting, it has shops, it has a lot of interesting restaurants. The road right next to me is the Baga Beach Road and we are going to be starting off our vlog from here and going all the way to the end of Arpora, guys. So let's go and check out this beautiful place here in North Goa. Okay guys, so we are starting off our vlog from here in Arpora, which is on the main road. Uh, here and if you see here on the left is this famous restaurant called Fat Fish as you can see the parking is full So the restaurant also seems to be completely full here and it's around 1 o'clock in the afternoon So that is why there is you know a lot of crowd here just to show you guys This is the entrance to the Fat Fish restaurant here and it's a beautiful day here in Goa while riding the bike it is very nice and cool, but when uh, you stop the bike, it tends to get a little bit of, you know, humid heat kind of, uh, you know, in the air. Here you have this nice chapel here and on the right, there is this uh, statue of Ronaldo here. So this is this little park here and, you know, there's a statue of Ronaldo. Uh, yeah, so this is this little bridge that you cross over here. I'm sure many of you have been caught here before by police for not wearing your helmet or, you know, for various different reasons. Guys, always wear your helmet when you're in Goa. Safety comes first. Uh, don't care about the police, but always take care of your safety. So, this is a popular road for people to come for lunch. Okay. So, if you see here, there's a lot of people on the roads that are coming down. There's a lot of international tourists. Here, there are lots of these lunch spots that are here. Uh, they also have vegetarian restaurants that are available. This is a South Indian restaurant on the right, which has like, you know, all different things here. You have Crazy Crabs, uh, another restaurant that is here. And now I'm just going to show you guys one place that is there here on the left of the road, uh, which not many people know about. So uh, let me just try and turn the bike and show you guys. So just over there, if you see the red, big red area there, they have ATV rides, they have wax museum, there's an aquarium there, they have uh, like bumper cars. So you know, if you have kids and you want uh, to take your kids for some interesting things, of course adults also will enjoy it because it's a pretty big place and you have a lot of options uh, to do there. Here you have like coconut water and things like that on the streets here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop a little bit over here. I'm going to adjust my camera so you guys can see a little bit better. So yeah, we got a better view now. And you know, you have to feel like you're riding on the streets of Goa with me, you know. So this is like a complete virtual experience. Here you can see all the tourists and you know, just, you know, put it on your television and you feel like you're riding here with me. So, uh, you know, the shacks and things have not opened up yet in Goa so because of that uh, you know they're still being built up in some areas like uh, in Anjuna so what happens is uh, there is a little less tourists because of that but otherwise this road is always fully packed like if you, you come here in December this road will be so full that you know uh, it will take you like half an hour to just reach from ba Baga to uh, Anjuna on this road or sometimes even longer depends on the traffic but yeah if you see here everything is ni nicely lit up it was lit up for Diwali so there are beautiful lights I'm just going to show you uh, which are there on that side of the street over there and then you have this beautiful church uh, here so this is sorry this is not a church the St. Sebastian Chapel which is on the right of me there and yeah so uh, something that is interesting here is this St. Sebastian sports uh, area. That's like an indoor football area. So if you have a group of friends and you want to, you know, rent it out, you can go there and you can play uh, football, like, you know, five side or like if you have a big group of friends that are coming uh, and they rent it out for like uh, 90 minutes, I think, per game or there are different options and you can directly go there and book it. Their numbers are there. So here you, there's this famous restaurant called Starlight here on the right. This is Starlight uh, Bar and Restaurant. Uh, you know, if you come here uh, at around 1.30, 1.30, 1.45, 1 
there's a lot of people that go to that restaurant. Here there is this famous wine store on the right which is Maharaja Wines and Liquor. And here on the right is the famous night market guys. So the night market I'm going to show you guys just up ahead. Just to tell you there's another restaurant here called Fish Deck. So there's Fish Deck and then here is Spice Club on the left. But here on the right is the famous Saturday night market. So I'm just going to turn around and show you guys. You won't be able to see from here. But let me just show you guys from there. So here is the Saturday night market. So if you can see here. So this is called the Saturday night bazaar uh, in Arpora here. Uh, it happens every Saturday. And if you see there in the distance, all the stalls are being uh, set up. Because today I'm shooting on a Saturday. So you know you can just i wanted to show you guys the saturday night market so i came today on saturday to show you guys what it looks like on the street from the street uh, the road which is going here to the left takes you to the baga creek road this is a very good area to stay if you want to you know get hotels arpora has some of the best hotels uh, in this area here there are nice restaurants uh, there is the avenue here on the left there is uh, just before that one was Sai. On the right, there is Mother Spice restaurant here. And you know, this area which we are leading up to used to be the old night market, which was very popular before. But unfortunately, that one has not opened up after COVID, which was the main market. But I'm just showing you something here. This is a new place that is opening up over here, which is called the Liquor Loft. Uh, Liquor Loft is this big wine store. If you've seen my video in South Goa, which is South Goa's like biggest wine store, uh, they are opening their, their wine store over here. So when they open up, of course, I'm going to do a full review. On the right, there is the Russian nightclub. And of course, there are lots of wine stores here and small uh, restaurants. But yeah, so the Liquor Loft has like they give you good offers for our viewers like you know with bags and gifts and different things like that so when they open up i'm going to give you guys a complete uh, tour of that if you see that board on the left there there is this big nightclub that has just opened up which is like goa's uh, first uh, you know nightclub uh, which is like this water nightclub or something uh, it's called diaz diaz so, yeah, uh, you know, I always like coming on this road because, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that you see interesting people on the streets when you are going by. And, you know, that's something I always find interesting for me. I like to see people from different places and it's just, you know, fascinating because, you know, I play this little game while riding for long journeys. I say, okay. You know, they must be from this country or from that country. It's just something to pass the time while riding along the roads. But I'm sure many of you also do that uh, somewhere in the world, whoever is watching this. But yeah, such a beautiful day. And here you see so many different, different people and from different places. Here on the right is Club Cabana. That is the big famous club on the hill, uh, Club Cabana, which is still open. And here, there's another wine store which is there on the left. There's also a Punjabi restaurant above the wine store. Daruka Adda. On this, uh, the, the board is Daruka Adda, which is first time I've seen something like that here in Goa. So, look at this, guys. So nice. Wow, they're selling pineapple, coconut water, and they have juice and everything. So while I'm coming back, I'm probably going to go there and have a nice juice, you know, because it is starting to get pretty hot now. So on the right here coming up was the old famous night market. Oh, that guy came right on to me. So yeah, here was the old night market, the famous big night market. but. You know, I hope that they start to and open up this place again. This used to be like a huge night market and there used to be so many international tourists and there was like vendors from all over the world, which made it a very interesting experience. You know, especially if, uh, you know, you liked to have a different vibe 
they had music trance music and different experiences so over here is the double tree hilton a nice hotel here in arpora which is on the left here and right opposite that is the go karting area here so if you want to go go karting uh, there is a go karting place right over there and this is like the one of the first go karting experiences here in goa and it's definitely something you should try out when you're here it's a good fun experience if you like to ride small cars uh, this is one shop that i always find very cute whenever i pass by this place i it gives me this bali vibes you know and it's a very unique shop uh, because not many of them have shops like this but just to show you yeah so they have all of these nice you know chandelier kind of thing made out of uh, i forgot what they are that is called but here on the right we have this uh, famous temple here very beautiful temple and you know uh, i've always noticed these i don't if anybody can comment and tell me what these are uh, i have seen them in all the temples here in goa but they have like this uh, thing which is outside most of the temples here in goa but i've not seen many in different other states so this is just an honest question guys so if any of you know what it is please let me know so it's like a little tower kind of thing anyway so here there are like some nice restaurants here and up ahead they, there is a lot of things that are being built on the right hand side of the road uh which are going to be like shops in the future up ahead here there is used to be this famous water park i don't know if it's still open let's go and check if they are still open but all along the way here there are like many of these boards and you know there are so many new restaurants that have opened up here uh, this is the road which is going towards vagator so this is the splash down yeah splash down is open so this is the water park oh wow so there's this little water park here i don't know if you can see it but you can see the slide over there so they have the slide and there's oh there's so many kids playing so they have this water park here and if you want to go to the water park that is an option okay i'm going to let this guy come up because it was from a slope so just to tell you guys the water park is open from 10:30 in the morning to 6 o'clock in the evening uh if you come here you can go to the water park i don't know if they have the prices out here but yeah so this is the little counter here at the entrance oh there's so many people at the this okay so this counter is not operational i think you have to go down and use that counter so this i i r a e r a e i r a so there's a, a kitchen and bar restaurant there there are a lot of these places here these are new places so there's this nice place called here the yellow house so here yeah, that's the yellow house there and let me just show you here so this is the yellow house uh i don't know if it's a resort or what exactly but it looks super nice uh over here you have big fat witch and there is also bandstand the music uh, bar this is nice in the evenings the bandstand they have like you know a nice music bar here there is big uh, sandwich big fat sandwich here and you know the vibe inside is like quite nice uh, so it's very aesthetic and there is also a gelato place here so if you like gelato so this is uh, tiamo gelato and that also looks like a very nice you know like those italian kind of shops uh, that you have in you know europe uh, the shop looks like that inside so i hope you are enjoying this vlog guys if you do please hit the like button and also if you are new to the channel please do hit the subscribe button i do a lot of these vlog showing you guys these uh you know streets of goa and telling you guys what are here so they have so many caps on this uh road here so somebody is selling all these different different caps and see so many international tourists now so this area vagator especially has a lot of international tourists uh, we are we are still in arpora but the road which goes down takes you to anjuna and if you go further on it takes you to vagator so it's a very beautiful area this side this part is very nice because of there's like trees on all side of the road so you know the breeze here is like very cool compared to the other areas which we came from 
uh, back there and you know i'm going to take you guys right to the end of the road which takes you to anjuna but just so that you guys have a complete idea of what is there on this road so they have this uh, big place called wine house so they have wine house here they have uh, like they have like a big wine store inside and you know goa has such big wine stores now like two years ago that you, you could hardly see any wine stores at all so so many international i like her hair pretty nice so this road taking you to the left here takes you to anjuna which is the famous uh, beach road here in anjuna and uh, the road which is going further as i mentioned was the vagator road so here with the village food they have fish thali for 150 rupees there pretty good and up ahead which we are going to come here there are like bina punjani there's like a hair studio here there's this uh, you know there's a cafe here and everything different different uh, places here there's this coffee and desserts and if you are in anjuna and you want to put petrol then you can come to this place so there are very few petrol pumps in this area but this is like the biggest petrol pump here so if you see there's like quite a few people but this is of course not like in bombay or delhi where you have so many people at the petrol pump so they are fairly fast here you put your petrol and you go so we are uh, reaching to the main circle but before uh, i end the vlog guys uh, please do comment some something you enjoyed about the vlog or anything you enjoy about goa here so i'm just going to take you guys to the right and uh yeah i'm going to show you another couple of places just before we end the vlog because they have a really nice cafe here which is really popular and it's like a bakery french bakery that you should not miss when you are here in goa so i just want to show you that uh just ahead this area has a lot of nice uh you know villas around this area so if you use google maps you can find a lot of google sorry not google you find a lot of nice villas in this area so there are couple of cafes here there was one small cafe that we just passed there this is hello sunshine which is a uh, like a breakfast and brunch it's a really nice place here on the right and just up ahead of that is babka which is like this petisier and they have like just to show you guys so this is babka here they have bagels coffee and it's like a a really nice cafe if you just want to try something uh you know different when you are here the prices might be a little high but the quality is really good so yeah so over here we have some really nice properties on the left and right like all these beautiful houses along the way and yeah so we are just going to end at the end of this road but i just want to show you guys till the end of this road because it's still a uh, really nice and beautiful here so the last place i'm showing you guys on this road is cafe cottinga which is a indulge your b so this is this little cafe which is here at the end of the road as you can see there's a lot of uh, people that go here and it's quite a premium place it's a re really nice place they have the tamarind zinc so uh, yeah i think they have a hotel also inside and yeah it's pretty nice so let's just go down and okay i have actually crossed the limit of the places to show you guys but just because this is also a little beautiful place don't worry guys this is this is the end i'm just showing you guys so this is the cemetery here and on the left there we have this beautiful church here in north goa so this is the st michael's church here in anjuna guys so we've made it all the way to anjuna from the arpara area so guys i hope you enjoyed this vlog please do like and subscribe and i will be bringing you guys lots of other videos from here in goa